Okay, hey guys, so uh, there's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube that show how to take a regulator off an HPA tank for a paintball or a scuba tank, uh, but there is a, a problem with all of them. They are overly complicated, so here goes my take on this. Um, tools such as these, or I forgot one more scary one, or this, will not be necessary, okay? Instead, all you need to do is actually, or take, is just this, okay? One rubber mallet. And your other hand, okay? Two hands. Two hands and a rubber mallet is all you need, okay? So none of this is actually necessary, okay? No tools, no wooden blocks, no vice, no grips, nothing. To take off a regulator, all you need is a tank with a regulator on that is stuck or not stuck, however you want it, that is uh, in need of taking the regulator off. So, <clears throat> okay, first what you want to do is make sure that there is no air in the tank, okay? No air in the tank. That's the first thing, okay? Check that by additionally pressing that pin there, okay? If it goes in, there's no air. If you can't push it in, there's air, or it's stuck. But this, okay, no, no, don't take anything out, all right? First release the air out of it. See, I can't even press this. But this thing has 3,000 PSI right now, okay? Um, now, the way to check if the tank is out of hydro is this, okay? Um, you look at the numbers there, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you go from one side to the other. So there's this uh, TC3 LMN, LM, so aluminum, 207, blah, 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 M5659, and there's this, 04, then this A symbol, which is actually not an A, but it's a company stamp, 0406, which means April of 2006 is the date of manufacture. The tanks have to be hydro certified or recertified every five years. So 6 plus 5, 2011, is when this Hydro's certification expired. Well, you can't see anything in here because it's wiped off by now, worn off. But basically, it probably said 2011 is when it needs to be recertified. Well, it hasn't been. I just bought it off the eBay. But the tank is actually perfect. I mean, there's no visual problems with it, and it holds pressure. It's been standing like that for two weeks now. So, no problem. doesn't lose pressure. Everything's fine. It needs to be recertified. I mean, I just filled it up with that PCP pump. It took me a while, but I did it. Anyway, so, I won't be taking the regulator uh, off this tank in this video, but I will be taking the regulator off this tank in this video. So, let's check the certification date. It doesn't say anything on the tank when it expires or when it needs to be recertified, so I have to go with the birth date of the tank. So here, find this date. 3, then this symbol A00, which means it's made in April or, or March of 2000. Um, aluminum tanks have a nice thing about them. They don't have uh, an end-of-life period, as opposed to carbon fiber tanks, which do, or any fiber wrap tanks, this thing has been made in 01 of 99, which means it's end of life, uh, or the carbon fiber or fiberglass wrap tanks have 15 year life span. They have to be certified either three or five years, every five years, well this one has a recertification requirement of every three years, you can see that. So basically, this thing, 99 plus 15, or 15 means it's gonna be garbage in 2014, 01 2014. So mm, that's actually a weird tank. I'm gonna post a separate video about this one. You can see that the regulator is an odd one. I thought it's missing a piece, but actually that's that's it. Anyway, so these tanks have a lifespan of 15 years. Aluminum tanks don't have lifespan of 15 years. They have a forever lifespan as long as they visually uh, qualify for recertification and actually oh, sorry, and actually do uh, pass the hydro certification. Anyway, so tank's empty. Take a mallet, 
hold this securely in your hand you need the regulator to turn counterclockwise with respect to the bottle so what I want to do is I'm going to just hit on the hardest part of that regulator the fill nipple okay like so okay that be it ladies and gentlemen all right it's already turning you can see so basically just continue okay nothing's going to happen to the fill nipple because it's made out of exceptionally well or good steel um, don't hit the pressure dial but nothing's going to happen to it but you can see okay it's coming loose all right so that is it okay a few seconds and you're done okay no vice no vice grips no ruining the regulator even if it's bad just take that thing off um, it's got a considerable uh, length of a neck there but other than that there's no problem basically that is it okay did you see how easy that was that's it okay no complicated stuff no pieces of wood or no specially machined uh, tools that's it okay just took it off easy now wash the bottle send it for rehydro find the local rehydro certification shop but that's it perfect we're done thanks for your attention